when you pick a medium, you stay with it for, for some time. You don't do one or two pieces with it and then flit on to another one, because that way then you wouldn't be able to get into understanding that medium and therefore be able to get something intrinsic out of it. Uh, these works were created in Nigeria, in the little town of Suka. The whole thing started from my finding a strange bag in the bush. I opened it and saw these uh, bottle caps. And so I started uh, on this idea of linking them with copper wire into extensive sheets. When I did the first piece and hung it, you know, in the middle of the studio, I saw that it could hang on about three or four strings and then was capable of creasing in ways that I found uh, very interesting and worthy of exploration. As time went on, I found that it passed from sculpture into a combination of sculpture and painting. You can achieve almost the same things that a painter would do with oil color or acrylic or watercolor. If you get close, then you are seeing names of some of the brands of drink. Alcohol became uh, items that were exchanged for humans, you know, who were transported to the Americas as uh, slaves. The link between Africa, Europe and America is very much part of what is behind my work with bottle caps. You know, the concept of the wall, uh, the idea that a wall is a human construct and it is done to do so many things like sequester you or create a barrier between you and something, protect you or, or deprive you of your freedom, and, you know, so, so those ideas and what are behind the, this work. Well, the first step would be to make what I call building blocks. You know, there are little pieces of the various formats that you see there. And then you compose the larger picture using these little blocks. And when you compose it on the ground and it's okay, then there comes the third step of bringing them together into one composition. I would work with like between 20 to 30 assistants. Well, I haven't sat down to work out how many days or weeks or this thing, because at times it could be going along with several other pieces. I guess that if we devote time to this alone, then we might be talking about 25 people working 60 days. That's 25 times 60 days, if it's one person. In my part of the world, milk comes uh, in tins. Most of the times uh, when people consume, the tins are left as garbage. I chanced upon, once again, <laughs> a bag of these lids thrown somewhere in the bush. I think I worked on that even before the bottle caps. Any time and before any of them, I have a feel of the presence of all these uh, layers of people, right from the people who made the drinks, the people who drank them, and my assistants and myself, you know, which gives them a spiritual dimension. When I keep going to places, and the freedom I give them to them to mount my works, without my interference, allows me to learn something from them. You know, because I believe that people equally have ideas how to interact with these uh, works. Art is a replica of life, and life is not a fixed thing. It's something which is always in a state of flux. 
It's something that is capable of changing and I want my art to reflect something like that. <laughs>